Welcome back to Mad Marketing's YouTube channel. Here's where we discuss things about being an authentic leader and digital marketing. And today for you, we're going to be doing an overview of Optimunk. Now what Optimunk is, it allows and gives you the ability to create customized pop-ups on your website to collect information from your visit visitors such as their names numbers and imp most importantly their email addresses i use this for a number of my clients i'm going to review this review this with you today starting with the pricing so jumping over here you'll see we have different options and it's priced based on the traffic you get per month so at the low end at $29 a month, you can get the bronze package, which allows you unlimited campaigns for a single domain, as long as you have under 5,000 visitors per month. I, Being completely honest with you, if you're using an EMS system, such as Klaviyo, they have created now in, in like recently a few months it's been they created the they allow you the ability to create your own pop-up and a B test that pop-up now that's a great tool I believe especially if you're under that 5,000 visitors a month mark I wouldn't opt for Optimum just then use that tool but do know that the pop-up software from like Klaviyo is limited and it's not as customizable as the one you'll get here in OptiMonk. <clears throat> but moving on, so the silver package, this allows you to work with two domains up to 15,000 visitors a month. So if you're even running one website, one domain, but you have up to 15,000 visitors per month, I do, at that stage, I would recommend opting for OptiMonk. Definitely grab OptiMonk at the silver package because the you know, even if you're using Clavio, that conversion rate that you're going to receive just by using Optimunk is going to be worth it. You're going to collect a whole lot of more emails and, you know, you can get these people to purchase later on. Since you have their email, you can create a list on Facebook and Instagram social media ads and retarget them there. You can continue nurturing them through email marketing and so on. So... If you're under $5,000 a month, especially if you're just starting, you know, use the free version that comes along with Klaviyo or your other EMS systems. I do not recommend getting the bronze package right out the gate. <clears throat> but once you break that 5,000 visitor mark, then you're in a prime position to use OptiMonk, in my opinion, and I would jump on as soon as you can. So next is gold. That's just four domains, $99 a month, up to 50,000 visitors, right? Again, $99 a month. If you're getting anywhere close to 50,000 visitors and you can use it on different websites. So that's unlimited campaigns on different websites. I would recommend it for my clients. Actually, we're using three domains on this Optimum platform. We're doing $200 a month in our cost, right? And I'm going to show you why it makes sense for us to be using OptiMonk a little bit later. With just two of my campaigns, I've pretty much paid almost the whole year of this platinum plan, right? And so this is 10 domains with 250,000 visitors. And then lastly is the diamond plan. That's $400 a month with a million visitors per month and you can max 999 domains so you can spread out your ability to be using this across all these different domains across all these different stores websites etc but moving on i want to discuss now with you the, the capabilities of using optimunk it's super impressive and i haven't found something else out there like it so let me just move myself down here and let's create a new campaign together and the first thing you're going to notice is the wide amount and the selection of templates that you can choose from you know and some of these might actually 
will work for you right out of the gate. And what's beautiful about this is you overlay your mouse over them and it's going to show you the average conversion rate and where they're pulling this from is the people who are using these templates. How well are they, how well are they performing for them? See, this is 2.46%. So obviously it's probably not the best performing. I actually expect my campaigns to do 5% or more. So this right here is doing outstanding. It's not really collecting any information. It's kind of just used more for a survey, but it's still great. And let's see if we, so this is a, like a gamified one, 8% spin the wheel to win. So that's actually beautiful. Let's take a look at it in full screen. This is how it pops up. This will be your website. And let's just select this template really quick. Oh, these are the, the clients here that are using it. So I'll just select anyone. I'm not gonna publish it. Wow, this loads. So here, stop. here's our palette. We have the ability to change our color palette, you know, use blue and now everything is set here. So let's go back to the frame, our layout overlay, lucky wheel, style. See, once I change that palette there, my palette is now here so I can go and start changing the colors of everything in here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Something like that. Okay, go back. My text, I'll leave the text the way it is. The button. See, I can start to change the colors in the button. There's advanced options, so dealing with margins. How much space, you know, is between the elements but I'm gonna just return that back. There's a lot going on in this one. So we even have this here. I'll change my background color though. Um, this is actually an image, I believe. So I'm not going to be changing that today because I'm not gonna create an image right now to replace that with. But it's that simple, <clears throat> designed and ready. And then you can come here Let's go see something, so add elements. I can add buttons, images, floaty images, text, a survey, drop down. What I usually do for uh, one of my clients, because they have different types of customers, customers that are individuals that uh, own businesses or customers from nonprofits, what I tend to do is the following, right? And this kind of gives me an idea of who, what kind of customer we're working with so that when they actually enter our EMS, our email marketing uh, platform, our email marketing service platform, I know what kind of emails to send them. Do I send them emails that resonate more with nonprofits? Do I send them emails that resonate more with businesses or individuals, etc.? And so that's just a tip that has nothing to do with Optimon, but it does show you that you have the ability to do that. Uh, and then here is your thank you. So after they sign up, you can do a number of things here. Uh, you can, I recommend testing it for each site individually. You see how they have the coupon code here? You would put your coupon code, but in some cases, you may not want to put your coupon code there. And what that does is that causes your subscriber to jump into their email and actually open your email to get their coupon code, right? And so that's not a bad idea. And A, B, test it and kind of see how it affects your purchases and see how it affects your open rates. 
for your emails because the idea is to get that person used to receiving emails from you right away so that it's not a brand new thing when they start receiving emails from you as you nurture them and as you're getting them to purchase and repurchase and things like that and then you have a teaser right and so teasers here spin the wheel down at the bottom here you can do the corner right or you can do this uh, circle right and then once you're done you can hit save and exit mm -hmm. And so this is something that I think is so interesting. Your ability to alter the behavior of your pop-up for your subscribers, right? So you can do it on exit intent. And that's pretty much when someone is like coming, their mouse leaves the page and either is searching to click on a new tab up here or to actually go back or, or type in a new domain. But you can add more triggers. So you can make your pop-up jump up when a person clicks on a specific area after they scroll X percent through your website after X amount of time of inactivity or regardless of activity or not X amount of time that they've actually been in your website. And if you're a little more advanced after a JavaScript event occurs on your website, you can then have it pop up. So right now we're gonna leave it on exit intent. That's all the triggers I need. And now we can select who should see the pop-up, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Frequency, the pop-up will appear a maximum number of two times per visitor with at least one hour between two appearances, right? So you may have been on some sites where it's just like a pop-up is just coming up on every single page. Maybe you don't want it, want it to do that. So you can actually change it. How many times do I want it to see it? You know, I can do it in minutes. So if someone came to my website and the first thing, let's say I have it pop up on the loading page as soon as they get there, regardless of what page it is, then I'm gonna want it to see it once. If they exit out, to me, that means they haven't seen enough of the website to actually make a decision whether or not they're even interested in a coupon code. So. How long does it take people to go through a website? I'm going to give it like four minutes. And so if they close it out that first time, then four minutes later, you know, give them a little bit more time to get comfortable with your website. It'll pop up again. Right. And it's only going to happen two times. And spent on pages. It's, oh, this is the time spent on pages. <clears throat> Engage with Optimum campaigns. Anyone who has not any campaign not filled by visitors. And then I could also make it like, if the visitor has filled any campaign, not any, you know, here are the other campaigns that I have running. So let's say I have two promotions running, right? First time purchase, and then a option for a specific product, a promotion on a specific product. If someone has already filled out the campaign for that first time purchase, if the visitor has filled this first time purchase campaign ever before, then I don't want them to receive it. Basically, I don't want them to receive it. I don't need another one. But you can have things like that set up. This way you don't have multiple one person receiving multiple promotional options. Because then that's gonna lead them to asking, Oh, can I use both codes? Like obviously not. People will still ask, it's surprising. And then you have your integrations here. You can add your Google Analytics, you'll have your Clavio, etc. And so next. And so this is like a really quick brief overview of like the different kind of things that you can do with Optimunk. It's great that you have all these different templates. You, you do have the ability to use custom code. You do have the ability to A-B test and the, the control that you actually have over the behavior is outstanding. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick look at some campaigns that I created for one of my clients and they have done phenomenal. So it's a low conversion last touch and a high conversion last touch campaigns. The low conversion last touch 
works as following. If you add products to your cart and the total cost is under $500 and then you you start to take actions like exit intent, this low conversion last touch campaign comes up with a timer. And so here is that campaign. And I actually tested it at some point before. And we're, we're going to look into this because it's super interesting. So here's my low conversion last touch campaign. I tested it. Let, let me see if I can get you a closer look at the campaign first. I would like you to see it. It's just to see how simple it is. Boom. That's it. Take 5% off your order. There's a timer here of five minutes. My button says take 5%. <clears throat> and if you don't want it underneath, it says no thanks. I'll rather pay full price. That's just a little funny for me. And then when you click, you get your code right here. I'm not making you go to your email. I'm not making you put in your email here because you've already added products to your cart, but now you're acting as if you're gonna leave your cart. So you know what? Don't leave, here's 5%. And I've tested it with the same exact thing, but blue in the color blue. During the test, I found that the green works the best. Extremely interesting. So I chose to keep the green running. And in the last seven days, I'm gonna show the Google Analytics dashboard, the custom Google Analytics dashboard here in the video. In the last seven days, this low conversions last touch brought in 16 purchases, I believe, for $3,607. So that is phenomenal. That already has paid for the month of using that 199 plan, right? And then the next campaign that I mentioned to you guys is the high conversion last touch. It is exactly the same campaign. But here is the thing that was so interesting. I tested, I A-B tested the colors here, right? And I gave 10% off because the rules that I have here is cart rules, cart value greater than or equal to $500. So, and it only comes up on that basket page. If they take exit intent on that basket page and their cart value is over or equal to $500, I gave them a 10% off discount with a five minute timer for them to purchase, right? And interestingly, I ran an A-B test testing the blue and the green, the same as I did with low touch. I don't know if this will remain true for every other e-commerce store out there, but I do recommend that you test it for yourself and see what happened here. The blue one. So people purchasing under $500 preferred the green color while people purchasing above $500 preferred the blue color. Now, these are things that you can't come up with on your own and Optimum gives you the ability to test them. The conversion rate for this campaign in blue is 15, just over 15%. That's extraordinary. And the green version while it was running did just under 9%. That is literally double the the conversions. And in the last seven days from recording this video, the high conversions last touch point generated $9,199.95 in sales. So if you haven't yet, and you're running an e-commerce store, check out OptiMonk, especially if you're getting over 5,000 visitors per month. I will include in the description below my link to uh, OptiMonk. Yes, it's a referral link, and OptiMonk will pay me if you do sign up, and that would I would really appreciate it. What that would do is allow me to continue making videos and actually putting money into the videos and you'll be supporting the channel in return for this information. It's like indirect support and I'd appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you guys found some value in this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you get new digital marketing and leadership information whenever there's a new video. 
I'll see you guys next time.